fly an airship of my own. I'll be a sky pirate, free to go where I will. Hmm. Well, be careful. You'll never fly anything if you're rotting in a dungeon. Hmm. Oh, Miguelo had some errands that need doing. He wanted you to drop by his place. It might be a good idea to lend a hand. said you needed something? Um, had me some packages supposed to be arriving by courier. In the morning, uh, perhaps he ran into some trouble out in the desert. Now I've no foodstuffs to prepare for the banquet tonight. So you want me to find this courier? Hey, no problem. No problem? The desert teams are in trouble. I'd be sending you to early grave, my boy. No, I've arranged for some replacement goods from Tomage over at the Sand Sea. So, you want me to go to the tavern to pick him up? Actually, I asked Kites to do that. Wouldn't you know he's gone missing on me, too? Ah. I can't leave my shop and knife Pinello on another chore at the moment, you see. What I want you to do is run over to the Sand Sea and fetch Kites back. What do you say? Ugh, sounds wild. It's easy work, and you'll thank me for it someday. There you are, Kites. Stop loafing around. Look, Vaughn, look! This is mm. it! This is why Miguelo's courier didn't get here on time. A creature spotted in the ester sand. What is that thing? Ah, Vaughn! Miguelo sent you too, did he? He's a busy man these days, that Miguelo, if I dare say so myself. I don't envy him the work, though. Not a bit. Quite the affair throwing a banquet to welcome the Imperials, eh? Welcoming? We should be... whatever. Say, Tomaj, what's this? Nah, don't remind me. Got some nastiness out there in the Ester Sand with stopping our couriers. And that means shortages all around. Thought I'd put up a bill, offer a reward to anyone who can knock that nasty back in its place. Hm. Now that's work. Sounds ten times better than running errands for Miguelo. That's right. Vaughn, you should give it a shot. And you should be getting back to Miguelo. Now, Kites. He was waiting for you. Oh, right, right.
You there, let's see some papers, boy. No public passage on account of the Lord Consul's parade. Oh, gee, that's too bad. You see, it just so happens that your provisioner for the fate tonight, he sent me to pick up a few choice morsels for the uh, Consul's dining pleasure. He wants them quick. I got the writ of transit right here. You see? Signed, Miguelo. I just hate to see the Consul upset because his food wasn't ready on time. And I sure hate to see him take it out on you. The Lord Consul is a great man, and not one that take offense in such uh, trifling matters. <sighs> Move along, boy. Wouldn't do to keep the Consul waiting. Right, gates are closed after this. Albana lilies? Never thought I'd see him growing out here. Ugh. This'll make a nice souvenir. Time to call it a day.
Stand back there. Back! This gate closed until the ceremony's over, do you hear? Ah, <sighs> now what? Open the gate! All right, out the way. Wait a second. How come you let these chocobos through the gate and not us? What of it? This here's a pedigreed parader, boy. Cost tens of thousands of gil, this one did. A prettier price than a hundred of you provincials had fetch. <sighs> Keep your distance. We don't want the chocobos sticking a peasant. <laughs> What'd you say? Step aside! <sighs> right then, move them in. Oh. <sighs> that does it. Ho ho ho, a fine, fine chocobo you have there. Yes, uh, sit down, 